Welcome to Collecting Chaos and another of the Eternal My Light Project videos. There's a themed part of this one and I think you'll pick it up pretty quick. And we're going to start off with Black Diamond from AmeriComics. This is number one from May of 1983 and I consider this to be very fine plus. And of course it had Sybil Danning on the back cover which got into neat. And it was a high quality book. I mean, it's slick, slick pages, nice printing, artwork's not bad. That's what we're going to start off with. And then we've got Black Diamond number two. And this was also from America Comics. America, not America Comics, America Comics. AC. Uh, July of 1983, also very fine plus. Uh, reminds me a little bit of Sin City, but this came out before Sin City. The cover does anyway. And again, pretty nice artwork. Uh, slick pages. High quality printing. Then we're going to go to Black Hood number two. This is from the Red Circle Comics group, um, which was published by Archie Comics, uh, August of 1983. And again, very fine plus, which is unusual for a black cover. Uh, regular newsprint paper, uh, off-white pages to me. Uh, some people might say they're white, but I consider them, consider them off-white. Uh, I'm not doing the off-white to white stuff anymore. It's either white or it's off-white. It's not halfway in between as far as I'm concerned. Then over to DC Comics for Black Lightning number one. April 1977. I consider this a very fine minus. As you can see, the pages are a light tan. I, I actually enjoyed this book when it came out. And then I have another copy of Black Lightning number one, April 1977. But this one's very good minus. Again, pages are a light tan color. Then Black Lightning number two from May of 1977. Very fine minus. Once again, the pages are a uh, light tan, but it's got Talia in it, and Batman, and that's kind of a, kind of an interesting thing. Batman and Talia show up. Black Lightning number three from July of 1977. Uh, this one, a fine minus. Again, uh, I would consider this maybe uh, off-white. Uh, they're actually a cream color, but I'm trying to get away from using that. So, yeah, definitely an off-white color. Off-white to light tan. Another copy of Black Lightning number three, July 1977. Uh, this one, very good plus, because you know it's got a lot of uh, bad things going on with it. Pages off white. I don't have that. I want that. <laughs> I'm going to find one of those toys one day. Uh, it features Superman and Black Lightning. So Black Lightning had a lot of the other heroes in it in the early issues. And then we have Black Lightning number four from September 1977. And this is a very good minus with uh, off-white pages.
Who's doing the art in this? Vince Coletta. Uh, oh, Vince Coletta did the inks. And Trevor Von Eden, E-E-D-E-N, did the pencils. And they don't look bad at all. And of course Superman shows up in it. And here's a, another copy of that. And uh, this one I consider a fine minus. It's in a little bit better shape. Again, light tan pages. Then I have a skip to Black Lightning 11. With the ray. As a backup feature. Uh, off white pages. And... Uh, October 1978, very fine minus. Are you starting to see the... Uh, my uh, theme? If not, you will soon enough. Now we're going to skip over to Marvel Comics and Black Panther number one. From January 1977, um, this I consider a fine copy. I might have considered it uh, fine to very fine if the uh, cover wasn't miswrapped so far, but it's off like a, a three sixteenths of an inch to a, over an eighth of an inch. So I, I consider it a fine. Then I have uh, Black Panther number two from uh, March of 1977 in uh, Fine Plus. Jack Kirby goodness throughout. Off white pages. I didn't show you the page quality on the other one, so let me go back to it. Again, off white pages. Like I said, Jack Kirby goodness. That's why these Black Panthers are in my collection, is because of the Jack Kirby goodness. <laughs> uh, number three, Black Panther, from May of 1977. Again, off white pages and Jack Kirby good goodness. Gotta love Jack Kirby. Well, you don't have to, but he's such an iconic uh, creator. Black Panther number four from July of 1977. Uh, this one I consider a very fine copy and uh, off white pages. Back is fairly clean. It's a nice copy. Black Panther number five. Uh, this one is uh, September of 1977, and I consider this a very fine minus. Even though it has that shift, it's such a nice copy otherwise. Uh, Off-white pages, Jack Kirby goodness. What more can you ask for? Black Panther number six. And in case you were wondering, yes, the uh, theme was all the titles in this first section start with the word black. Off-white pages, Jack Kirby goodness. Number six was November 1977. And uh, fine plus. Black Panther number seven, January 1978, find a very fine off white pages. Do I need to say it again? Yeah, I will. Jack Kirby, goodness. I never get tired of saying that. And if you look, here's an advertisement for Ms. Marvel. 
all new thrills by Marvel's Mightiest, the most spectacular superheroine of all on sale monthly. Now we're going to go to something different. Bold Adventure, number three from PC Comics. Uh, this is, it's near mint. I mean, it's nearly perfect. White pages, of course, it's, of course, you expect to have white pages on these, on this slick paper. Uh, PC Comics didn't scrimp on the paper. Uh, John Severin did the art. And it's got some really nice art in it. At least in my opinion. And then we have the Bravados. This is from a uh, number one, and it's from August of 1971, and it's in fair to good condition. Now you look at it and you go, no, 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 you don't know what you're talking about. It's better than that. No, it's fair to good. Now, off white pages, cover completely detached. Uh, I am going to show you how to repair this. This is a square bound. Um, you see the staples here. And I am going to do a repair on it. And I will show you how to do that. This is going to be one of the projects that I work on this this coming weekend. A little bit of dirt on the back cover. I might clean it up some while we're doing it. Um, there was maybe half a dozen Skywald comics. I would love to get them all. I rarely see them. Then we have uh, Captain America number 149. Off white, to, well, light tan pages. This is uh, from May of 1972. I consider it a good minus. And that's mostly because of the cover condition. And yeah, the cover condition. This is what gives it a good minus in my in my book. Then I have Captain America number 165. Uh, September 1973 in fair to good fair to good because it's detached I don't think I'm going to do a repair on this one and it has an extra staple somebody put an extra staple in it Okay, I will be removing that, that extra staple, and while I'm at it, I might as well go ahead and reattach the cover. So, this is this and the uh, Bravado. Let me pull those two out and set them off the side. They will get a little bit of work. And we have Captain America 168 from December of 1973 in good condition. It's a pretty solid book. Uh, light tan pages. Yeah, lots of advertisements because I couldn't seem to find any of the anything but advertisements. Next we have Captain America number 170 and this is from 1974 in good condition and it's got that thing I hate which is a spine roll so guess what that's number three on the, my list of it's also got a water stain here but I don't know how to get those out yet 
uh, I haven't found a method that works good and a fairly dirty cover so we clean it up we're gonna fix the spine roll and that's another one for my pile of uh, to get worked on this weekend and I have Captain America number 179 it has a minor looks like a cut more than a tear there I'm not gonna fix it I'm gonna leave it like it is this is from November 1974 and I had it as fine I think I'm gonna drop it to fine minus cover is not too bad for a comic that's what 40 years old uh, light tan pages actually tan pages I'm not even going to say light tan these are tan and Captain America number 185 from May of 1975 I put this at a very good plus uh, this one definitely has uh, light tan pages wasn't too crazy about this artist uh, Frank Robbins has never been one of my favorites. He did a run on, I think it was Batman, that was just horrible. I mean, he's not a bad artist. He's just not one of my favorites. Um, Captain America 189. This is from September of 1975. More Frank Robbins art. Like I said, he's not a bad artist. He's just not, not one of my favorites by a long shot. Uh, Off-white page. Captain America 200. And the only thing that tells you that it's something special is it says special bicentennial issue. But... Since it came out in 1976, of course it was Bicentennial Issue. But what I like about it, edited, written, and drawn by Jack Kirby. Kirby goodness. What a way to do the 200th issue with... Yeah, I like this one. <laughs> Then uh, Captain America 201 from September 1976. More Jack Kirby goodness. Off white pages. Captain America 202, October 1976. In fine condition and the 201 I also had rated in fine off-white pages Kirby goodness yeah I uh, like me some Jack Kirby art finally Captain America number 203 from November of 1976 in very fine minus. I did not buy this one off the newsstand. I had never seen this one until, as a matter of fact, these last two. This one I bought. These three I didn't buy when they came out uh, because they came out at about the same time I joined the Army. And uh, I didn't get any comic books when I was going through basic training <laughs> or through the advanced infantry school. And uh, I really wasn't too worried about comics once I got to my uh, first duty station. Uh, it's got some pencil marks in there. I'm not too worried about that. This comic sold for 60 cents at one time. 
That's what we. That's the way we used to do it. We used to up here. We would write the amount that we wanted for the comic uh, as uh, dealers. You know, do, go do, go to a comic show. You'd open the. You'd open it up, and there'd be the price. And uh, say that one was thirty cents. November 1976, very fine minus. That's it for this one. That's all the comics I have for uh, for this uh, Eternal My Light project. But we have three comics for me to work on this weekend for uh, my Sunday video. So uh, I look forward to that. I look forward to fixing these up and uh, letting you see how I do it. And uh, that might end up being a long video. I don't know. Uh, in the meantime, I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, I will see you. So I didn't get any mail this week. So no mail call. So I'll see you when I start fixing these up. But for now, I'm going to say bye.